Hello everyone, how's it going? I'm Wild Crendor, and today I want to talk about something a little controversial happening in the BFA expansion news community, whatever you want to call it. Um, so a few days ago, there was a Reddit post talking about how if you unequip your Heart of Azeroth and your trinkets and your rings, pretty much you'll kill world quests and rares and open world content a lot faster than if you had them equipped. So, uh... To read it a little bit, Blizzard has mob scaling and power to match your bagged eye level when in open world BFA content. So by unequipping high level trinkets, rings, heart of Azeroth, you can reduce your eye level significantly while keeping your DPS relatively less impacted. The result lower is a lower uh, kill time on most mobs. Apparently Bungie Destiny uses this in a lot of their games, which is uh, one of the biggest complaint about their games. Um, and then he says, this is poor game design, there's no feeling of power progression, just a grind with a number that no longer has meaning. Equipping more powerful gear should always result in an increased feeling of power. This is a core concept of an RPG. Blizzard has intentionally undermined it. So, this has been a pretty big issue. I've actually noticed this quite a bit, especially um, just from going from 110 to 120. It's amazing how much difficult, uh, how much more difficult the mobs get. Um when you hit 120. For example, my hyena mount here. Uh, I farm this thing for so long. <laughs> and it turns out it's actually easier to farm this mount when you are level uh, anything but 120. If you're less than 120, because the mobs have less HP, they die faster, and so it's just easier to farm the mount. Which, all that kind of bothered me <laughs> a little bit when I heard about that. I was like, that's kind of weird right like it's easier to farm them out when you're not 120 max level it's just uh kind of odd uh and blizzard actually responded to this so blizzard said um and even for mythic geared bringer of death and destruction when everything dies nearly instantly you spend more time looting corpses than you do making them you spend an order of magnitude longer traveling to a quest location than you do killing the quest target you stop using your core class abilities and instead focus on spamming instants uh, to tap mobs as quickly as possible before they die. So that's really their, um, this is their solution to that problem. But I think the problem here is still like people can just take off your rings, trinkets, and the uh, necklace and like, you know, pff, kill stuff faster. Uh, I mean, there has, to, I feel like there has to be a better solution, whether it's making the mobs more difficult. So... If fresh 120s can't kill specific mobs, um, but then that kind of destroys their whole, like, you know, fight everything in the world, but, um, it's just, it's a tricky thing to balance. I think that's one of the biggest issues of scaling, is how do you scale people with great gear down to, um, you know, fresh 120s if you want to quest with somebody, but I think there are better ways to do it. I don't know those ways because I'm not a game designer and I just like playing WoW. Uh, and I don't know. I'm just, I can't think. Maybe there aren't any better better ways. I don't know. Maybe this is the best way they got. Maybe they've thought about it for like months or something. Uh, but I think really at the end of the day, they're looking at keeping people playing the game. And when you got people breezing through quests, breezing through stuff, that's not good to keep people playing the game because you're going to run out of things to do. And then you're going to go do something else. So I think what they're doing here is they're like, hey, we need to keep people, you know, grinding a little bit, right? You know, keep them logged in. So they add this mechanic. And by doing so, you know, world quests are a little harder. Leveling's a little harder. Grinding's a little harder. Farming's a little harder. And that all adds up. And, you know, maybe you stay online every day an extra hour or two because of that. And I think they definitely know that. In fact, they have people probably monitoring all of this and you know I honestly don't mind it that much but what I do mind is getting geared out like uh, like this post said and then feeling like it doesn't really matter because everything just scales up to be at my uh, level like right now I'm item level 337 and some things uh, definitely are a lot easier than they were before I think uh, the, it does get a little better as you keep getting higher up, but it still is kind of weird fighting mobs that I fought at like 119 and having them almost kill me at points. <laughs> you know what I mean? So it's uh, it's just a weird system. And I think uh, so far, I've loved this expansion so far. This has been one of my favorite expansions uh, for World of Warcraft that I've played. I love the zones. 
I love that Horde and Alliance have two separate areas. There's so much PvP going on. Uh, there's still war fronts to come out in Arathi Highlands, which I think is going to be great because I love Arathi Highlands. Um, I love the, the gear. I've loved the dungeons, even though some of them have a little too much trash for my liking. But you know what? Trash! What do you, you know? Uh, it's not it's not the worst. I've played worse dungeons. Um, I've actually enjoyed island expeditions a decent amount. You know, not I don't want to play them all the time, but I like doing them every so often. Uh, I've just enjoyed everything about the expansion so far, but this is this scaling issue has really been one of my biggest concerns, um, the biggest issues with the expansion so far. So I'm kind of curious as to your opinions on the situation and how you would fix it. And I don't just mean like this is dumb. I'd make it the way it was, and I want to kill mobs really fast. Because obviously the issue here is they don't want you breezing through everything, right? So, do you think by getting higher item level and higher gear that you should be able to breeze through everything and have that power and be like, yeah, I am strong? Or do you think there should still be a bit of a challenge? Making, maybe making harder mobs, maybe making um, some, score, some sort of gating so that you couldn't progress to certain world quests until you had specific gear uh, because you wouldn't be able to kill them anyway. I think there are ways of handling it like that, uh, but I'm just kind of curious what you guys think. Because I, uh, I'm i kind of clueless on the situation, to be honest. Like That's how I would handle it, but I feel like that would still cause some sort of issue and somebody will probably mention it in the comments. So leave your comments in the comments section down below. I'm just curious about this whole issue and everything. I haven't actually done this where I put my uh, necklace and rings and trinkets in the bank. I just, I'm either one, too lazy to do it, or two, I just... You know, I honestly don't mind doing a little bit of a grind, but I also don't do every single world quest, and sometimes, you know, you just, like, group up with people in the world quest and do them really quick, but, like, that's another issue they don't like, but I don't know. I don't mind doing that for some of the ones I don't like too much, but that's, uh, probably part of the reason they're doing all this. Either way, leave your comments down below, let me know what you think, and, uh, yeah. Okay. Okay. See you.